ਲੀ ਪਾੜਨਾ ਇੱਕ ਅਲੱਗ ਗੱਲ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਤਾਂ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੇ ਪੁਰਖੇ ਦੱਸਦੇ ਨੇ ਵੀ ਜਿਉਣਾ ਝੂਠ ਤੇ ਮਰਨਾ ਸੱਚ ਇੰਟਰੋਡਿਊਸਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਕਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਵਨ ਐਂਡ ਓਨਲੀ ਦਾ ਕਿੰਗ ਆਫ ਪੁੰਜਾਬ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਹਿਮਸੈਲਫ They say the good die young and that patience is a virtue. Well, I definitely wasn't talking about Sudamusawala. I mean, how can you kill something that lives on and becomes legendary? Sudamusawala influenced many around the world while embracing his Punjab identity and transformed and revolutionized Punjab music, lifestyle and culture. Find out the legend the one they call Sudamusawala Fallen Angel Okay I've seen people I've been in the industry for nearly 18 years now I've seen people come I've seen people go This guy is definitely here to stay He's a bad boy lyricist he's an amazing performer and he is none other than Siddu Musiala Shub Deep Singh Siddu better known as Siddu Musiala is a Punjab Indian singer rapper and actor as well as being a politician serving in India's national congress His music streams on YouTube have generated over 4 billion views Born on the 11th of June 1993 in the Musa village part of the Mansa district of Punjab India in which his name pays homage to Sudha Musawala is born in a Sikh family and was an active practicing proud Sikh Sudha Musawala has always been proud of where he was from, of his background, of his religious beliefs that shaped and influenced his personal ideology. The unsung prince of the village was ready to conquer the world. Never shy away from the limelight, he used his voice as a beacon of hope to echo powerful statements that some found uncomfortable and thus deemed controversial. But then again it all went to his advantage and it allowed him to become a breakout artist and elevate his stardom to another level. The university electrical engineer from the village was beginning to have his message heard loud and clear. Love you. Baki ho mainu vairi kande ne 47 ni mutte Love you Jato. Thank you Jaggi bhai. Thank you. God bless for it. It has to be said that Sudha Musawala was an incredible, ambitious, intelligent young man that was full of life that was barely getting started. I am living life for pride and prominence. But this is what I was trying to explain to you. To live is a lie and death is the ultimate truth. Day by day we say we are growing but we are actually being reduced. We celebrate thinking it's our birthday but we do not realize a year has been reduced from our lifespan. Like today, it's the 14th today and it's a quarter past 12 right now. We won't get this time back. We won't get this date back. This day will not come back. Life exists only two different groups. The haves and the have-nots and Sudu was definitely for the people. We are living our lives normally. Day by day keeps passing. That is what I have written awaiting for death. We should not be scared of it. Learn from it. Day by day, our days are numbered. So try to do good if you can in these days. I don't mean to threaten anyone that I will come take your life. Kill or be killed, it all depends on the Almighty's wish. 
Although notoriously known for his music and lifestyle that was heavily fixated around weapons and violence, Sudo Musawala was well known, not just in India or in Punjabi society, but around the world. Thus, he often collaborated and toured with various artists such as Steel Bangers, Steph London and Mist, noted at the Brit Asia Musical Awards. <laughs> Shakespeare once quoted, to be or not to be, that is the question. Somewhere in between, Sidhu sought freedom. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Sidhu understood that and tried to do his utmost. When police stopped us to ask for pictures. No, you're in Lewisham. Lewisham. Is it get pictures of you? Of course you please, officers. Any words for Sidney Moose? Come for me. You don't have to call me. Nothing to do. Brown boys. Meet and greet. Thank you, Sandy. One more, one more, so you've got to just clean it. There you go. This guy's like our Elvis, man. Tell him, bro. He is a famous guy. They didn't believe me when I said it. <laughs> Cheers. I don't believe it. I can see the color there. See? <laughs> exactly. Man, they can see. See? My color, they can see. They're not playing there. They're not playing there. Sudhu Musawala was proud to be a Punjabi. He was proud to be from India, from the Mansa district. He was proud to be Sikh. And he openly wore his turban with grace and flair. At this point, he was on top of the game. His popularity was growing to new heights. His name was bringing, not just in India, but around the world, in every single continent. And his music was charting and enabling him to become an award-winning artist. Just when things couldn't get any better and prosperity was right around the corner, the devil decided to strike and sadly on the 29th of May 2022 Sidhu Musawali was followed, ambushed and murdered by unknown individuals. Punjabi singer Sidhu Musewala was shot dead recently in Punjab's Mansa district. His demise has left the entire nation shocked. People playing here, playing all the music in their cars, driving up and down, you see all these pictures. And you know, at one point I had a bit of a lump in my throat because I thought, he's a young lad, you know, he got taken away. But I can understand if he had other siblings and that, you know, he's on his own, you know, and it makes you think like his mum and dad, you know, tomorrow when they're at an old age, who's going to look after them? No doubt about it, large controversy surrounds the death of Sidhu Musiwala. Strange and odd patterns of behaviour start to become apparent when taking a closer look and analysing the unusual circumstances surrounding the build-up to his untimely demise. One thing in particular that comes to mind is the strange coincidence in which his vicious, barbaric attack was carried out right just before the government sanctioned protection detail in which Sudhu Musawala was allocated for armed security was dramatically reduced to two. And that bizarrely, Sudhu Musawala himself on this day decided to travel alone and unaccompanied with out a bulletproof vehicle. Another controversy surrounding the death of Sudhu Musawala was the fact that immediately after the police announced the death of Sudhu, they attempted to link 
his vicious murder to a gang rivalry depicting Sudo Musawala having a gang affiliation and thus getting sadly caught up in the smoke. The police announced this without conducting a proper and adequate transparent official investigation, almost as if this sideshow was pre-planned and they were playing their role. A lot of people are saying it's because he was uh, his manager killed someone and people are saying he was behind, he was joined with him. That's what a lot of people are saying. Both Sidi Musa Wale's family, close friends, along with other insiders, reject this claim. Look, you've got uh, um, uh, Sidi Musa Wale that approached um, Simran. Simran Man, yeah. yeah, Simran Man, yeah. He approached him only literally a few weeks before. Yeah, they had basically agreed that, listen, he said, I'm going to support you lot one million percent. He goes, I'm going to support you lot, yeah, right? He even gave a speech. In that speech, he said, I'm going to support Khalistan 100 percent. Yeah, Deep Sidhu done the same. They took out Deep Sidhu. Another strange circumstance surrounding Sudha Musawala's death is his political involvement. He was a prime candidate to run for the Mansa seat at the next election, his local district. Despite recently losing a position at the recent elections, his rapid growing popularity and strong influence, particularly amongst the young members of society, some might say made him a popular favorite to secure the electoral seat at the next election, or in other words, public enemy number one. Perhaps some people in government wanted to silence him and keep him at bay, six foot under. Perhaps his controversial lyrics and lifestyle that was very unconventional went against the grain and didn't quite fit into office politics. Known for his gangster-based raps, Sidhu Musewala faced charges of promoting violence and gun culture with his song Sanju. He was also accused of insulting Sikh warrior Mai Bago in one of his songs. His recent song, Scapegoat, also sparked controversy. His name was also associated with Khalistan support. In 2020, a couple of videos went viral wherein he was taking training in operating an AK-47 with a few policemen. I think um, Sidhu Musawala was a great artist who had actually done a lot within the short period of time that he had. Um, and I think that his music was really good as well, um, in which uh, he obviously did promote guns. But uh, that being a part of Sikhi as well, you know, the part, the, the, that aspect of shastad and, you know, uh, having your uh, weapons to protect and serve others it has always been a part of Sikhi. So to myself, Whenever in our country, specifically in our state Punjab, whenever the Prime Minister comes, a foreign diplomat comes, MP from another different state comes, why do we give them the Sri Saab? Is Sri Saab not a weapon? Sri Saab is fine there, but if someone picks it up, then it's wrong? Is it right? It all depends on the mind of the person who has the Sri Saab, who has the gun. Is he or she using it for the right cause or not? What is right or wrong? We are mere singers. We are not capable of telling you what is right or wrong. Perhaps Sudhu Musawala didn't quite fit in the government's image of someone who will play their role in office. Perhaps it seemed more practical to silence a lyricist once and for all, so that ultimately the ends can justify the means. But what the government's done, man, it's a dirty move, man. It's a very dirty move what this government's gone and done. But that's not only with him, it's, it's, we've had this discussion about Deep Sindhu as well before, and then Sandeep as well, the Kabaddi player that they've, they've dirty, actually, man. yeah, they orchestrated that. People need to start changing their ways.
in, in, in a matter of weeks. Punjab needs to wake up. Punjab needs to answer the questions why this has happened. Even with this one, the way they've done it, both the weapons used, the weapons used were military grade weapons. They weren't, they weren't even your normal weapons you can buy off the street. A, 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 the firearms they've used, the next level. The way they've done it, they've gone there, they've taken out his tires first. Now listen, I know a lot of people down that route that go down that route and they do this kind of work. And I'll tell you one thing, they come straight up on a motorbike, bang, 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 and then they go. Simple, yeah? Couple of Glocks, 9mm's, whatever, they do the job and they go. Rebors, uh, um, rifles, whatever, yeah? Pistols, you name it. They won't be carrying AN-94s. No way. You know, and they won't be taking out tires first. What they've gone and done is they went and took out the tires first, thinking these cases got bulletproof windows. They had two cars, one car in front and one car behind. What was the reason behind that? You know what I'm saying? It's like, like a military style operation, basically. Brother, you think to yourself, want this is this is the ultimate, this is the ultimate one now, yeah? If Musi Alad stood up for Khalistan, if he had stood up for Khalistan, you imagine the followers that you would have. I feel like I've been mourning a loss for somebody that I didn't know personally, but just like many of us in the room, he touched a lot of us. Through music, through the person. The but half of the janta nowadays, half of the janta, you ask anybody here who sounds genetically printed on is, any of the youngsters, they won't know. You ask them about Khalistan, they will say no. The reason for that is, is because this has been drummed into their heads by their parents. I saw it's India government, but they were scared, bro. Yeah. That's all it was. They took, us a big, they took out the biggest banda in the world right now for Sikhs. Yeah? At this moment of time, they got Jaggi, yeah? Then they're on the Kabaddi player, then, then they're on, they, they on Deep, now they're on Situ. Are you mad? These are shook. This, this uh, international artist of that status, blown away. It's 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 disgusting. You know, Punjab really needs to wake up, and these these questions need to be answered. But if these people were following Musa and Musa Allah was standing for Khalistan, and he was standing with uh, for Santa Janet Singh Prince Rawal Soch, yeah, all these youngsters would be supporting him. And you imagine how many youngsters would have stood up, Hindu, Muslim, everyone. Sikh, Gore, Kali, you name it, the amount of supporters he got, bro, India would have been finished. We would have got a Khalistan within five years. You understand? They took him out, bro. This is a very political decision what they've done. Three people in a very short space of time gone. That's um, Deep Sidhu, Sandeep Singh. Anybody who's a bit of an activist is just being taken. This is not a simple murder as far as I'm concerned. And questions need to be answered. It's actually through attending a wedding of AJD. Our daughter went on the dance floor and it was Sidhu's song, So High Came On. That's the pinnacle moment we realized our daughter had embraced her Punjabi culture. That for us as a family was moving. Like I still get emotional because it was such a happy moment. She's born and bred in the UK. She's a, Pun she's a Punjabi British. We can't enforce the culture on our children. What we can do is introduce them to it. He did something which we couldn't do. And that's it. She speaks the marble now. She wants to embrace the dress. She wants to speak it. And she's also learnt the language. That's the key thing. She's learnt the language through the lyrics. I'm not here for what he's associated with. Let's put that to one side and let's look at what he's done. He has revolutionized, he has brought a whole generation of children who we potentially may lose to back to some root of our culture. Many similarities can be found for Sudha Musawala and others that have fallen before him. Tupac sparks to mind, both riding in a vehicle on their last day and were viciously attacked. Sudo Musawala's popularity has skyrocketed and his death have seen many from different walks of life come together to mourn his loss and admire and contemplate on his accomplishment. And that's the music. Music is a movement. Music brings people together and that's what he did. Not just Punjabis, let's talk about mainstream. The Drakes, it was God's plan done. 
a lot of people don't understand here. Yeah, for like a lot of people growing up in Southall, who aren't very fluent in Punjabi, he bridged that gap. Yeah, a lot, he brought tear to Punjabi to the forefront across the masses. You know, you go to America, you got Bob. Well, you had uh, one of the biggest hip hop artists, Burner Boy, crying because of his death. Yeah, yeah. 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 The you guys have really, really helped my spirits tonight. I've been going through some shit. I just lost one of my friends. India's man come back, Sidhu Musiala. Rest in peace to Sidhu Musiala. Rest in peace, Sidhu Musiala. He's touched, he's touched millions, yeah? 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now, people will be discovering his music and it'll still be a hype. What do you think? Coincidental. Coincidental ki he, his last song was The Last Ride his, uh, and he died like he says in his songs, you know? He always, he always used to say that he's gonna die like a legend and people are gonna remember him, you know? People, Oh my god, it's just so sad. I know that he died on like 529 or something like 20, that. Yeah, 295. Yeah, America is 529, but in India, 295. Yeah, and that was in his song. His right? song name was 295. Oh, yeah. Although departed, but still vivid in our society, everyone wants to find out his story. Everyone wants to get a piece of the legend, the one that they call the chosen one. The Punjab lyricist that still lives on beyond the grave. Yeah. But, uh. So, he, like, I feel like the synchronicities are just like proof that, like, he's an artist. And, See, like, that's, that's how I take it. Like, spiritually, like, I just feel like all the greatest artists have, like, weird coincidences attached to their. Or Sidhu Jasa Banda is not gonna. we not gonna get a person like Sidhu in, like, ages. I think the first thing to say is that it's a massive, massive loss. What a tragic loss. The, the amount of outpouring and grief that we've seen around the world has been really palpable. And I think it's brought a lot of the Punjabi community together. I think one thing about Sidhu Musawala was that he made it cool to be Punjabi. We all embraced our culture a lot more because Sidhu Musawala made it um, a kind of culture that we can all embrace, even as people that live out, out here in the UK. But actually, it was so cool to be part of um, that culture and actually being really proud of it. So I, I, I think it's a huge, huge loss uh, for the community. As a person who wears a turban, as a Sikh, as a Singh, I always try to fulfill what is my responsibility. The way I do it, it might be different. I won't say it's twisted, but just different. Some people might wear a rounded turban and do a religious album and then will do something completely opposite. I want to do something, but it needs to be done in the right way and with genuine intentions. You know what hurts the most is that Sidhu cared about everyone else before himself. He would he made sure all the girls in his village were provided of education. So imagine how his parents are feeling and how those girls are feeling. He made sure if they wanted to go on progress in their career, he made sure that happened. He cared about everyone else before himself. So rest in power. As his popularity continues to grow day by day and his music continues to be shared in different platforms, we simply have to honour the profound effect the Punjab lyricist had on us. He touched us, mind, body and soul, from different walks of life. Despite his music not even being in English, we can relate to his lyrics and circumstance and struggle. I mean, the sheer audacity Sudhu Musawala had to bust through the scene and shake up the place surely 
has to be applauded. In my opinion, I do think that um, you know Sidhu Musawala did make a difference where all those lovey dovey songs were playing in Punjab for you know the good old twenty odd years from the eighties onwards. Um, you know that the, the youngsters that were listening to the lovey dovey songs and that's what they were just thinking. You know what? That's what life's about. Um, Sidhu Musawala was a game changer. He brought in music. He mixed rap and hip hop and Punjabi music together and he combined it to create something very artistic. Best way to, the way kind of we saw him when he came onto the scene, or the best way I can anyways try and explain is, we anyway saw him as an outlier within outliers. That if you take the most creative people, put them into a room, he would stand out within them. He was just from every aspect of the game he just brought something new, dynamic, trend-setting and game-changing. He was uh, writing his own uh, poetry, his own songs. And there was a lot of songs that he did um, in reference to the Sikh struggle. Turban-wearing, proud Musa native Punjab gentleman, who influenced us all and never shied away from his political beliefs and opinions. He wanted to convey the message that death is in fact promise. And he never understood why we celebrate birthdays like it's an achievement. He highlighted that it's actually celebrating our demise of our lifespan, being thus heavily reduced. Sudhu would have wanted us to live to live, not live to survive. This wasn't a message for the faint hearted who lack faith and empathy for the recent departed, but more of an um, uplifting tale, a message to encourage you to make the most out of life, the day-to-day -day interactions with loved ones that we hold dear, because the reality is life is not long, but rather short. So take full advantage, cherish the moment that you have. And I mean, he goes into a lot of stuff that was, you could say, controversial for others, but for us it was just a matter of him talking about real issues. And Musawala himself, Sidhu Musawala himself, was um, a person who's come to life to be somebody that was quite helpful. He did help. Uh, he did help the people that were in the village, the young girls. He was sending them to. Uh, he came for the education for them to start to study further uh, and that was, I think those were nice gestures from him but that wasn't shown on the media and we always know that the media plays tricks on everybody and how they think and you know, how the, the world kind of perceives somebody and they've always made him look like a thug Legends really do live on and the means do justify the ends. In my time machine, I'm in my time machine, I'm in my time machine. And there's a couple things that I should have said. That 9 11 is something that I couldn't fail. We lost so many legends from around the way. Now good music just don't sound the same. Really? Cause Leo, the government tricking us to have us now. And everybody's sick of having like a pound. They need a fix to turn things back around. Legends never die.
Everybody on the count of three, one last stop, puppy. One, two, three.